Welcome back, my beautiful friends. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. Merry Christmas Eve. In our Hello Open Metaverse segment brought to you by Animoca Brands, we're featuring our returning guest, Yogiv Shelley, CEO and founder of TinyTap, a library with over 200,000 teacher-made educational games. TinyTap is among the world's top-grossing kids' apps on the App Store in the U.S. and globally. Proudly, they are one of Animoca Brands' subsidiaries. Now, Animoca Brands is a global leader in gamification and blockchain with a large portfolio of over 380 investments plus and with the mission to advance digital property rights and contribute to building the open metaverse. The company and its various subsidiaries develop and publish blockchain games, traditional games, and other products, many of which are based on popular global brands, including Disney, WWE, Power Rangers, MotoGP, Formula E, and Snoop Dogg. That's just to name a few. As for TinyTap, well, together with Animoca, they're going to unlock decentralized education for all, from kindergarten through university, a platform owned by teachers and the community. Welcoming now to the show is founder of TinyTap, Yogiv Shelley. Welcome to the show, my friend. Hi, good to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming on. All right. Well, talk to me about decentralized learning, what decentralized learning is all about and what the hype is. Decentralized learning means learning that happens directly between the teachers and the students who need it. So today, the way you get your education is basically you have the government here, then you have the teachers who need the salary and content here and the parents here, and they are completely dependent on the public education system. For private education, you got tutoring and other alternatives, but really on a massive scale, you need the power of uh, online tools. And that's what we've been doing in the past 10 years, building the platform for creating educational content and monetizing it directly, directly with the families. And I'm here to talk about how Web3 can take this to the next level. That's beautiful. I love it. And how, talk to me in your words simply, how is Animoca and TinyTap contributing to the development of the open metaverse and Web 3.0? So Animoca has been an investor and on TinyTap since uh, 2016, long before even blockchain got, got into uh, to, to place. Uh, since then, they became a leader in basically promoting digital property rights. Let's take a moment to focus on that. Digital property rights means it means who owns the rights for digital assets created. So when you create a video and you post it on YouTube, you own the video, but the actual asset of the video showing ads and getting the traffic and getting the comments, who owns that? Uh, but that YouTube, basically the one who owns that and you have access to that. You only have access. And by flipping it and making it that you actually own the content, it means that you can take it with you. You have the, the, the full ownership and you can do all sort of things with, with that. So it's uh, very similar to renting a home versus owning a home. If you rent a home, um, you can live in it. You can do what the agreement says. If you, if you own a home, you can Airbnb it. You can make do parties in it. You can uh, you know, partner with four other people to co-own it and rent it to tenants. You can do a lot of things. That's the difference between renting and owning. Web 2 is renting. Web 3 is owning. And that's what we want to bring to uh, with Animoca bring that concept into educational content and view that as the first step for, uh, this is just the first use case for the NFT we're creating because it can be applied for other content types as well, as long as it's content. I, that you can I absolutely love that analogy. That was very, very simply put, very clear, and you got straight to the point. And, and most people understand that, you know, renting versus owning, web two versus web three. So publisher NFT is your real breakthrough, right? The successful mm -hmm. auction that you just had marked another step towards the vision of Animoca Brands and your company, TinyTap, to build an alternative Web3 education system that better values teachers by improving the earning opportunities available to them. And the NFT that sold for the highest amount was Learn English with Gabby, which generated about 22.9 Ether. That's approximately approximately $38,000 US dollars at the time of the sale for Gabby Claff, the creator, yeah. or approximately, this is interesting, 
13 and a half times the average monthly elementary teacher salary in the public school system. So, so what I'm seeing here, Yogi, is teachers are overjoyed that English, cor English courses will now reach thousands of children worldwide and are excited to teach this new generation of young kids. Talk to me about this, this breakthrough publisher NFT. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's, that's exactly why we did this auction. We wanted to get our foot in the door and basically launch the publisher NFT. To remind everyone what publisher NFT means, it means giving you the rights to be a co-publisher in a piece of content. So just like if you have a book, you go to a publisher and then both of you become partners in getting the word out and selling the book, the same can happen with digital content. In our case, teachers created con courses on TinyTap, interactive courses. You go on TinyTap, you create a course just like you create a PowerPoint, only it's interactive, and then parents pay to access the content. That is TinyTap. One teacher named Gabby, for example, created uh, an English course, 50 units. So it's actually a curriculum for a full uh, year, the first grade of teaching English as a second language. So she started, she started with English for Hebrew, then she translated that to Spanish and English for English, etc. So you have this piece of content that has been running on TinyTap for a year, two years, and has generated revenue. We published how much revenue that course has generated. So just like lo looking at the listing, you see that this course has generated X amount. I think Gabby's course has generated $17,000 a year, something like that, uh, in total. And that was 50-50 uh, within TinyTap. So she actually needed uh, from, that, from that something like 16, from uh, like, like eight thousand dollars a year we sold that to someone else who wants to be a partner now and wait and that's exactly why 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 we did the auction uh, we wanted to see what will happen next I, i'll pause here for a second when i got into web3 it was very confusing because the road isn't very clear and one of the biggest the best advice i got is that you open one door and two more opens and i think that is that's exactly what happened here we published gabby's course alongside other five courses uh, all of them were sold out. Gabby's course was bought by Japan Works, led by Misa. Um, Japan Works is a guild, a gaming guild from Japan. They got excited about the Gabby's course, and now they're actually working to localize that and making that into a curriculum for teaching English to Japanese children. So Fantastic. not only Gabby made, managed to cash out, but she also got a partner. I love this. So if I'm understanding this correctly, let's go backtrack just a little bit. TinyTap provides a code free, it's code free platform that really yeah. empowers educators to create and share these interactive educational content to receive a revenue share when that content is used by learners. And then both companies believe that Web3 solutions can improve opportunities for educators, meaning TinyTap and Animoca. You do believe that, that, that these opportunities will be, you know, proprietary worldwide so that educators worldwide can earn from the content they create. So basically where we are headed in terms of web 3.0 is the rise of the creator economy, essentially. It's the liberation of the creator economy. I think we also already saw creators coming onto the web and using whatever they were given the existing platform and the, the same guidelines that, that, that we had in web two where you, are a guest in a platform. But liberating creators, it means that whatever they create, they own. Um, and that's very yeah. important. It's yeah. There's a big difference. Now, I'm going to mention this. T teachers out there listening who would like to work with TinyTap to turn their educational content into games and tokenize them can reach out directly to the TinyTap team at web3 at tinytap.com. Again, that's web3 at tinytap.com. You'll be able to be received by plenty of information with people that know what they're doing and take you to the next level. Now, financially, Yogev, I foresee this endeavor to be highly beneficial to all. Uh, Yatsu, co-founder and executive chairman of Animoca Brands, commented, and this is a direct quote from Yat, that we designed TinyTap's publisher NFT to significantly increase teachers' earning opportunities over the current TinyTap subscription model and to free teachers from the costs and time required to promote their work. And thanks to this innovative use of NFTs, TinyTap's teachers can choose whether to continue business as usual or instead make use of Web 3.0 to focus on what they do best and produce great content. And I think that summed it all up. How does TinyTap Yogev contribute to my bottom line? So you can already create today on TinyTap and generate revenues that comes from subscribers.
But what we're hearing a lot of the time from educators who create on TinyTap is that they're not marketers. So they end up um, you know, relying on the subscribers that TinyTap is managed to, ma managing to buy. And we have our subscriber pool and we're generating very significant amount of revenue. We doubled our revenue this year and that goes between us and the teachers. But with NFTs, what you get is freedom. You own, just like I, the example I gave you before, you, like the apartment one. Once you own the content, you, you're not dependent on what kind of business models the platform itself, TinyTap, offers you, but you can go and do business on your own. For example, if I have something that represents ownership in a piece of content, I can invite you to be my partner because you're, you can really sell it well in a specific geographical location. I'll give you 50% of it and I'll do that with NFT. So even though you don't know me, I'm across the sea. We don't need to involve, involve legal. We don't need lawyers. We don't need anything. All you, get, all you need to do is take this NFT. Once you have that, blockchain will take, uh, rest of, uh, take care of the rest. And it's a trustless business interaction. You can get partners to help you get your content out there. The trustless business interaction. And that's what the blockchain is all about. Interestingly enough to what you're saying, there's a woman by the, by the name of Ellen Weber. Okay, you know her. She's a US-based yeah. creator of the course Nursery Rhymes and Fairy Tales. And she made a very specific comment. She said that Tiny Tap has been her second income for more than five years. She always believed in Tiny Tap's mission. And she's been inviting the teacher community to join her and create revenue generating educational games on Tiny Tap. Now, this is her taking initiative, right? So she went on to say that this new step into Web3 made her believe that Tiny Tap is on track to fulfill its mission to decentralize education. So kudos to you, because now you turned uh, a teacher into a believer, into a user, into a creator, and she's making money. So she's endorsing you fully. Now, um, teachers will receive royalties on any secondary sales of the NFTs and will be entitled to 10% of future revenue generated by their courses, right? So these publisher NFTs provide teachers who create content on TinyTap with the potential for significantly improving earning opportunities compared to the platform's current offerings. And Animoca Brands and TinyTap will continue to investigate new and exciting ways to leverage Web3 technologies for the benefit of educators worldwide. Yogev, talk to me. We have about two minutes. What advice do you have when it comes to NFTs? investments i think that we with the first wave of nfts were pfps and uh, we kind of fell in love with them because uh it just you know it's the first use case of uh, of ownership that, that we saw and it was art and how it was used but we have to go back uh to go back a, a few steps and remember what nft is all about and that is ownership and what ownership uh um, basically what kind of opportunities ownership, uh, ownership opens. For us, ownership means new business models for teachers, new partners who can join, people who can become promoters because they can go and sell your content. And the kind of NFT we're selling is named an NFT, but it's not the NFT that you think of immediately. It's a different kind of NFT. It's an NFT that gives you co-publishing rights into a digital assets. And when you buy, and this is important, when you buy an NFT that is linked to a company's success, you're also betting on the companies and projects. Because if we doubled our revenue this year, we did from four to $8 million. That's how we doubled our revenue. And then in, in a few years, we'll do $80 million. We 10 x our revenue. We got more subscribers. More subscribers get access to more content. Your content was already there because you bought it two, three years ago. Think, just, think about it like buying a house of cards when Netflix just started. Instead of yeah. buying shares, as investors, which not everyone can, can do, you have a chance to actually support an educator, but also connect yourself to the success of a project that you believe in. And in TinyTap, that is changing the world in the way you want through education. And, and you said it best. That, that's exactly right, what you just said. You're changing the world through education. I mean, education is power. Knowledge is that's power. That's change the world. And, and you said it best. Teachers are undervalued. They're underpaid. They face constant resource shortages and, and these obstacles that basically hinder our students learning. So, you know, education systems tend to have, you know, high budgets, but in most cases, the benefits, like you said, they don't trickle down very well to the teachers. No. So you are doing something extremely proprietary. And with that said, we are out of time. Thank you so much for coming on. What a fantastic company. Great time to spend my Christmas Eve with you, Yoga, because I just got to learn something fantastic and I can't wait to share it with the world. This is a great, great holiday gift as well. And it's never too late. You can always start 2023 with purchasing some of this stuff and really, really investing where it matters. Yeah, in the spirit of Christmas, the publisher NFT is the gift that keeps on giving. It, it's an NFT that you own, but it also generates 
income and earnings and grows from every Christmas to every Christmas. So Merry Christmas. I hope you give it a go. Uh, I'd love to be here again soon. Oh, we'll definitely have you back on. Thank you so much for coming. Ciao. Guys, that was Yogiv Shelley. Make sure you definitely check out Tiny Tap. And listen, teachers are among the most prolific and important content creators. And guess what? Now their content, their content can be tokenized into NFTs, transforming into a platform for growth and opportunity. This is so proprietary and amazing. That was our Hello Open Metaverse brought to you by Animoca Brands. Do check out Tiny Tap if you are a parent interested in the cutting edge tech with the idiot's guide approach. Very easy, very simple to set up. Definitely go to tinytap.com and Check out my good friend Yogiv Shelley at Yogiv77. That's his handle. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this. A Moment of Zen is brought to you by Animoca Brands as a worldwide industry leader in digital, entertainment, blockchain, gamifications, and digital property rights. Animoca Brands plays a key role in the future growth of the metaverse. Ranked by the Financial Times as a high-growth company, Animoca Brands creates a new asset class, GameFi economies, and a more equitable digital framework contributing to the building of the open metaverse. For more information and to become part of the excitement, go to animocabrands.com. That's animocabrands.com.